I think RKK will give consistency. And I weirdly, like I know those fans are are nutty up there in New England. You know it better yeah. than anybody. But yeah. I actually think that they get what's going on. A Patriots so. fan is very smart, Th- truly. <laughs> Like they, 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 I don't think that there's grandiose expectations, or I think that I, I really do. It's not even in Chicago. They're like, what? I think New England knows what's going on in this in this world, and that's sort of upfront. I'm looking at FanDuel Sportsbook right now. It's uh, five and a half games over yeah. under. Yeah, I'm over. I think they're going to win more than five games this year. I, listen, they were close to winning more than five games last yeah, year, but true. they just had a couple of bad, you know. Couple of bad fourth quarter drives, turn the ball over, and I mean, we could have been looking at a seven. I mean, I'm, listen, I'm not gonna say they went to the playoffs last year, but I mean, they could have easily won seven, maybe eight games, and um, could have maybe been a little bit more consideration at the end of the season. But that's you know, it's football. That's not the way things happen. So, if they don't win, I'd be very surprised if they didn't win over five games this year. I yeah. think Gerard's gonna do a really good job. I think these guys are. You excited. keep saying that. Why? Why? You know him. Like uh, you, you said, just, you said I'm, earlier, he's gonna be awesome. He's gonna do all. Like, what is? I'm just such a him. big fan. Like, mm. listen, and you go. We brought in one of our own, right? We we a guy that's played, a guy that had success, a guy that won championships, a guy that knows how to like get this done. It was these. It, it could go both ways, right? He could be a and this could be a complete flop, and he could not know how to coach, but he has. Listen, he's got a ton of upside. He's got to learn how to be a head coach and manage a football game and do all of these different sort of things. But yeah. he's surrounding himself with, you know, he brought Elliot Wolf, Alex Van Pelt. He brought in all these guys to kind of help him do all these sure. different things, Huge right? So he's not marks. always, he's not just going to put it on himself. Yeah. Right. I, and I don't think anyone expects that. I don't think RKK expects that. And to your point, I don't think the Patriots fans expect yeah. it to just to put it all on, on Gerard. So, I, I'm, I'm, listen, I'm excited about it. I, yeah, regardless I of what too. everyone I, else thinks, I, I, yeah. I think he's going to be a hell of a head coach. I, I, I mean, I agree. I, 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 long before it was announced, I was like, they should look into, there was like weird, like somebody was trying to try up there, somebody up there in Foxborough trying to like say something about Gerard Mayo. I was like, are you guys joking? He's the most beloved person and they shouldn't be looking anywhere else if they're looking for a head coach. It yeah. should be internally and give Gerard Mayo the shot here. That said, what should they do at three? quarterback I, I, unless a unless a herschel walker type trade comes to to okay. their you know someone calls <laughs> wow. right and this is like a once in a lifetime opportunity for them to turn down and you know get some sort of generational type players plus like 10 first round draft picks right for the next you know a couple of years for them to rebuild i don't see how you not how, how you can't draft a quarterback it's like our one it's our biggest, obviously, over our head looming need for our offense is to have someone be a quarterback. Is Jacoby Brissett the answer? I, I love Jacoby. Yeah. I played with Jacoby. I think he's a great player. I-, I don't think that he's necessarily the answer for the future of the organization. So who is? Is it Jaden? Is it May? And I'm, I'm not even saying what you think. Knowing Mayo, who's at these pro day, who is he take? Who are they taking? <sighs> I, I, I'm Jaden. Listen, I, I do a podcast with Chris Price of the of the Boston Globe. Woo-hoo! He was down there at LSU's uh, pro day. I, I think they had like ten or eleven Patriot scouts down there. You're not sending that many people down to a pro day unless you're taking this kid with a third overall draft pick. <laughs> you know, so kids, kids got an unbelievable talent. He's a great athlete. I think that's kind of the spark that this this team is going to want. Um, Van Pelt has worked with guys like this before, guys that can move around in the pocket. I mean, kid's got a good arm. It, uh, you know, but again, my feeling on quarterbacks is, you know, we, we're not really going to know until August, right? I mean, this kid can do all the things in college and he can make all the throws at his pro day, but how good is he actually going to be in the NFL? Time will tell. Okay, well, we had him, and he did respond to this. I think we have this tweet before you go. I want to show you that he did respond. Jaden Daniels did his his account um, responding to, you know, him meeting with the command or whatever. He's looking forward to his upcoming visits, talking about him going to New England, which uh, is interesting that he, you know, wanting to play New England over Washington. We'll see if that happens. We 